A free quest is available right now for everyone, although some people will have already finished it. I bought that beginner item pack, so you don't have to, because it's pretty expensive and completely broken. And also those new skills I showed you before have showed up in my game again, so I want to highlight them in action in this video. A ton to go over, a like would of course really help me out, and let's go. As always, I'm doing a giveaway for 2300 Helix credits, so if you want to enter, do it via the link in the pinned comments, and you have to be a subscriber of this channel before you enter as well, and I will email the winner once the giveaway is over. You likely remember that end screen that Ubisoft used for many of their trailers, the Way of the Berserker mission as a pre-order bonus. Well, if you did not pre-order Valhalla, so picked it up later, or for some reason did not get the pre-order bonus, then you can get the quest right now by going to the Ubisoft Connect section of the game and then paying 60 club units. And if you don't have enough, then you need to complete some of the challenges to earn XP that will then get you new tokens. But you can of course also complete challenges in other Ubisoft games and then use the tokens that you earned that way in Valhalla. And I gotta say the quest is quite cool. You have to run around with this berserker and his bear companion. It kind of makes me want the animal taming from Odyssey back where you could also have this bear companion yourself. It's overall not a hard mission or anything, especially if you are already way above the East Anglia region level of 55. Then all the enemies will be green dots, so way below your level. You will get some nice XP though, like here I got one skill point and one mastery point. So I'm gonna spend the skill point of course on the new skills and more on that again in a second. But really the best reward from this quest is that you get Bjorn as a jumps viking, so the berserker from the mission who you can then assign by talking to that lady at the barracks. And then he will be joining you on your ship and when doing raids. I still think that's a pretty cool system, although I really thought there would be like more characters throughout the game that would join you. We had like pre-launch material where we saw Eivor with a pretty cool looking clan and of course the cinematic trailer. But really it turned out to be pretty lacking and also the characters that can join you aren't always that exciting. Overall you could say that this is basically the same system as the lieutenant system from Odyssey only instead of like summoning them with the call to arms ability you now can like summon them when doing a raid. That's the only difference, really. But yeah, the Berserker is quite cool, although he doesn't seem to be enjoying himself on my ship that much. No, but I would totally suggest that you get the mission, and after claiming it on the Ubisoft Connect, you can start it by checking the letter box in your room in the longhouse. So if you are a new player, I think you need to get to England first, and likely play some missions before you can access your own room. And speaking of new players, Ubisoft added a $30 or 30 euro premium starter pack, which gives you four weapons, a naval pack, and 2300 helix credits. So basically you're paying $10 for four weapons and the naval pack because 2300 helix credits is the value of like $20. The new ship pack is average. The wolf figurehead is the highlight for sure in my opinion. We got another wolf as the tail and the hull looks pretty nice, but all in all, not that exciting. But yeah, this all works and of course to use these items you need to buy a shipyard first in your settlement and then talk to the lady to equip the items for if you are a new player. But there is something way more interesting going on with the weapons because they basically lack a perk. They added a royal sword that I think looks great. I kind of like the forest bow with the sort of armor added onto it as well. We got a Kraken shield that makes these big shields look even more massive and we also got an axe with carvings on it. Like nothing wrong with the looks but again there are no perks on these weapons in your inventory whatsoever. It's kind of like all the items during the gameplay reveal. They were also missing a perk but that was of course because the game was still work in progress but it kind of seems to happen here as well, like the weapons were just not finished yet. Also weird is that they do not show up at the blacksmith, so you can't even upgrade their rarity, they will just always be fine. You can upgrade their stats one time though in your inventory, but then the items will still not show up at the blacksmith. So I really feel bad for anyone who already purchased this pack because it's completely broken. I totally think that like after maybe the next patch when you look at these items they will suddenly have a perk. I'm 
almost sure that that will happen. Yeah, that will totally be a few weeks from now. So until then, you're stuck with this crappy loot you paid for. So don't buy this, please. Onto the new skills that will be released for free for everyone and are likely planned for February with the River Raid update we talked about before. Although again, I already had these skills show up after the recent update. Then they suddenly disappeared and I know that it's the same for other people as well. And now, one week later, they are suddenly back and I can now actually use them. As you might know, they are not like super exciting, game changing, but still quite nice to have. The fight ready gives you an extra adrenaline slot at the start of a fight. So they can immediately put some fire or poison on your weapon for example. Like here you see me walk into combat without any adrenaline and then bam, I'm alerted and I immediately get one segment. So I put some fire on my weapon. While without the skill you would first need to attack the enemy to get some adrenaline and then get your weapon on fire. So... I think the skill is quite good. The most interesting skill to look at, like in terms of my showcase here, is the assassin carry. So then when assassinating a target, it really doesn't matter what assassination you do. But if you just hold the assassinate button, so R1 on PlayStation for example, you will immediately carry the body and can then throw it in a bush nearby if you want. As said before, I never really pick up bodies in these new RPG games, but if you do, then this totally makes it easier to do that. So those two skills are mostly nice for before a fight. The arrow looter is of course nice during combat because you have a greater chance of looting arrows from archers. And yeah, I tried it and I usually now get the two hunter arrows from killing them. So you will not be out of arrows that often when archers are nearby. And I kind of like how they give this special enemy type an extra purpose. So you have reason to focus on them during the fight. And I'm now also power level 403. So the skill cap got increased. But there are three more nodes that will then likely unlock as well in February, right? They could be like ability power related or they are just placeholder icons right here. Also worth noting is that according to Rick R in the comments under my recent video, the mastery level max, so the amount of mastery points you can spend on one of the dots that appears on level 400, is 1000 now. So first this was 30 as we saw in footage from Z Games and now it is 1000. So I really think that if you hit that you can basically one shot everything in the game. I'm not spending any of these mastery points but yeah if you hit the max level you can still earn XP and spend it there. Totally subscribe for way more Valhalla content. I got a ton of videos coming your way. A like on the video would of course really help me out. And check out my previous video on the best mount in the game that you can buy for one week only. So do it if you haven't already. For now I will speak to you next time and goodbye.